Fredette's from Glens Falls, New York, which is a long ways from campus. Three of his teammates and a lot of others over the years have come to BYU from Provo High School, which is across the street. True Blue's Jerem Jordan introduces us to the high school and the coach who's turned out more Cougar basketball players than anybody else. It's a big deal. You know, we love coming from Provo High. Bulldog and BYU basketball are nearly synonymous when you count the 17 state championships and countless players who have gone from Provo Green to BYU Blue. This year, there are three former Provo players on BYU's roster who take pride in Provo's tradition. Provo High has been really successful, not only in high school, but the guys who have come out of Provo High have usually done pretty well at the college level, and so now I kind of take pride in the fact that I got to keep that traditional life here at BYU. When I was younger, I really didn't think about it much. I just tried to play, but like my sophomore year, I started to realize like the pride, like winning's big. I started to take it really serious. The process of getting the three together for this one season took four years. As soon as Chris committed, I kind of, I don't know, it just we all looked at different places. Um, we weren't really, from the beginning, we weren't really set of all playing together. Um, that's, just, that's just the way it turned out. If I would have gone somewhere else, I think BYU would have had a really hard time getting them to come here. In 2007, Chris won state, then played one year at BYU before serving his two-year LDS mission to Australia. In 2008, Kyle and Brandon won state as sophomores and juniors. In 2009, Brandon played his freshman season at BYU. Last summer, Chris returned from his mission and Kyle enrolled at BYU, and the three were on the same team. I kept my options open, you know, but just when it came down to it, I just wanted to be able to play with Chris and Brandon. The man at the head of it all is Craig Drury coach of 28 years, more than 500 wins, and a record eight state championships. We've had a lot through the years, and whether I've coached them or whether my predecessors coached them, uh, we've, we've had a lot of good BYU basketball players, a few really great ones, and uh, we're very pleased with our relationship there. We've had a few go to other universities, but most of them who get recruited by BYU end up there. In my other gym, I have a picture on my wall. Uh, they're in their BYU uniforms, they're standing side by side, and it says Provo High alum. I'm very proud of them. The coaches at Provo, Coach Drury, they're a really good coach, teaches really good fundamentals and what we need to do, and just for some reason he gets us prepared to come play at this level, and when you play on successful high school teams that win state championships, I think that helps catch the attention of, of college coaches. Drury produced some BYU greats, which include Devin and Mark Durant, McKelly Wesley, and others who still maintain a connection to the program. You'll always see someone play, or so that played before or come back. There's always, I don't remember seeing a game where, um, where alumni hasn't been there. McKelly Wesley always came around. He'd always talk to me. He was always positive and said, just keep working hard. And Ryan's dad, Devin Durant, would always work, work me out in the summers and stuff. So he helped me a lot with my game. Another current Provo alumnus is Utah State's Ty Wesley, who faced BYU and the three BYU Bulldogs earlier this season. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. I didn't want to go to the game because I didn't know where to sit and who to cheer for, and I avoided the game. I've been to games for both of them since then, but boy, that, that was fun to watch that, watch that play. Kyle will serve a mission after this season, meaning this is the one and only season the three will be together on the BYU roster. It's really something that's much more than I ever imagined, and it's that's pretty cool. We need to sit there and think about it.